Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. I have another Here journal for you. Numbers chapter 20. Numbers, the record of the wilderness journey in the Bible. The Here to See channel focuses on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Numbers in the Bible, a chapter at a time, and doing a Hear Journal video on each chapter. Hear Journaling is a method many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about Hear Journaling. But now let's read and listen to Numbers chapter 20 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then I'll share my Hear Journal with you. Chapter 20 Moses Strikes the Rock In the first month of the year, the whole community of Israel arrived in the wilderness of Zin and camped at Kadesh. While they were there, Miriam died and was buried. There was no water for the people to drink at that place, so they rebelled against Moses and Aaron. The people blamed Moses and said, If only we had died in the Lord's presence with our brothers. Why have you brought the congregation of the Lord's people into this wilderness to die, along with all our livestock? Why did you make us leave Egypt and bring us here to this terrible place? This land has no grain, no figs, no grapes, no pomegranates, and no water to drink. Moses and Aaron turned away from the people and went to the entrance of the tabernacle, where they fell face down on the ground. Then the glorious presence of the Lord appeared to them. And the Lord said to Moses, You and Aaron must take the staff and assemble the entire community. As the people watch, speak to the rock over there, and it will pour out its water. You will provide enough water from the rock to satisfy the whole community and their livestock. So Moses did as he was told. He took the staff from the place where it was kept before the Lord. Then he and Aaron summoned the people to come and gather at the rock. Listen, you rebels, he shouted. Must we bring you water from this rock? Then Moses raised his hand and struck the rock twice with the staff, and water gushed out. So the entire community and their livestock drank their fill. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not trust me enough to demonstrate my holiness to the people of Israel, you will not lead them into the land I am giving them. This place was known as the waters of Meribah, which means arguing, because there the people of Israel argued with the Lord, and there he demonstrated his holiness among them. Edom Refuses Israel Passage while Moses was at Kadesh, he sent ambassadors to the king of Edom with this message. This is what your relatives, the people of Israel, say. You know all the hardships we have been through. Our ancestors went down to Egypt, and we lived there a long time. And we and our ancestors were brutally mistreated by the Egyptians. But when we cried out to the Lord, he heard us and sent an angel who brought us out of Egypt. Now we are camped at Kadesh, a town on the border of your land. Please let us travel through your land. We will be careful not to go through your fields and vineyards. We won't even drink water from your wells. We will stay on the king's road and never leave it until we have passed through your territory. But the king of Edom said, Stay out of my land, or I will meet you with an army. The Israelites answered, We will stay on the main road. If our livestock drink your water, we will pay for it. Just let us pass through your country. That's all we ask. But the king of Edom replied, Stay out. You may not pass through our land. With that, he mobilized his army and marched out against them with an imposing force. Because Edom refused to allow Israel to pass through their country, Israel was forced to turn around. The Death of Aaron The whole community of Israel left Kadesh and arrived at Mount Hor. There, on the border of the land of Edom, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, The time has come for Aaron to join his ancestors in death. He will not enter the land I am giving the people of Israel, because the two of you rebelled against my instructions concerning the water at Meribah. Now take Aaron and his son Eleazar up Mount Hor. There you will remove Aaron's priestly garments and put them on Eleazar his son. Aaron will die there and join his ancestors. So Moses did as the Lord commanded. The three of them went up Mount Hor together as the whole community watched. 
At the summit, Moses removed the priestly garments from Aaron and put them on Eleazar, Aaron's son. Then Aaron died there on top of the mountain, and Moses and Eleazar went back down. When the people realized that Aaron had died, all Israel mourned for him thirty days. And that was Numbers chapter 20 in the New Living Translation from the New Version Bible app. Now for my hair journal. First the highlight, Numbers chapter 20, verses 8 to 13. Verse 8, You and Aaron must take the staff and assemble the entire community. As the people watch, speak to the rock over there, and it will pour out its water. You will provide enough water from the rock to satisfy the whole community and their livestock. So Moses did as he was told. He took the staff from the place where it was kept before the Lord. Then he and Aaron summoned people to come and gather at the rock. Listen, you rebels, he shouted. Must we bring you water from this rock? Then Moses raised his hand and struck the rock twice with the staff, and water gushed out. So the entire community and their livestock drank their fit. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not trust me enough to demonstrate my holiness to the people of Israel, you will not lead them into the land I am giving them. This place was known as the waters of Meribah, which means arguing, because there the people of Israel argued with the Lord, and there he demonstrated his holiness among them. So, what's my explanation? God provided instructions to Moses to specifically speak to the rock. But Moses hit the rock twice instead of following the Lord's specific instructions. God told Moses that because of this willful disobedience, he would not enter the promised land. So what's the application for us today? We too sometimes stray from the Lord's specific instructions. He is the Creator, the Lord God. He knows all and sees all. He gives us specific instructions for a reason, as His way is best. We are foolish to resist the Lord's instructions and follow our own mind. Proverbs 1.7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Romans 12.2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. 1 Peter 5.8 Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Titus 3.3 For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. Matthew 7.26 And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. 1 Corinthians 1.27 But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. Proverbs 18.2 A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. So what's my response? Lord, thank you for my salvation. Thank you, Lord, for your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and instruction. I seek to follow you faithfully and obediently forever. Lord, I pray for anyone that does not know you, that they will find you as their Lord and Savior. Amen. 
And now, how about you? Why don't you try some hair journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. Moses talked, but he didn't listen. So when you talk, you listen, okay? God bless.